All right. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to use my custom scratch render pipeline. So first of all, we're going to want to open up a new project in Turbo Warp. I need to get that imported. So what you're going to do, you're going to head over to GitHub to the GitHub page and uh, click raw. And then once you do that, it should bring you to the code page. You're going to want to copy and paste this URL up here. And make sure you have Lucas Studio TV's plugin loader installed. Or, if you don't fancy, you can inspect the element and paste this code into the console like this. Or, wait, no. You're going to have to go here, copy this entire thing, and paste it into here if you don't have the plugin loader. If you do have the plugin loader, you can just paste the URL in here. And then you get pen plus. Now, one extension I recommend having with this is Utils version 2. Just for its ability to import URI images. So, for example, uh, let's load some textures. Let's load a texture. So we can go here. Uh, make a list called textures. And I'm just going to add a button for loading these. Now I'm just going to have it out here. So you can import it as a data URI. Now let me just import into H real quick. So it doesn't look like anything happened. But once you uh, click on the image you want, you click fire re file result, you get this. This is an image URI. You can put this inside of the textures. Or, or we can put this inside of the textures by adding it to the textures list. Now from here, we can start using pen plus. So move the list down over here and make it not visible. Now let's just stamp the image real quick. And we click the flag in the end. Here we go. You can see we have the image now. And everything over here has disappeared. That is because this extension, right now, I have not found a way to make it integrate with the default scratch renderer, entirely replaces it until you move something on the default scratch renderer. So if I move, were to move this one pixel over, boom, it's back. If I were to click the flag again, there. I recommend you put your renders inside of a forever loop just so they render. So let's make this image a little bigger because right now it's kind of small. We can use this set stamp width and height too. This allows us to stretch the image and squash it. Make it 128 by 128. Now, as you might notice, we have kind of some weird coordinates over here. Now, scratch coordinates typically start at 0, 0 in the middle, go to 240 and negative 240 left and right and 180 and negative 180 up and down. Well, we can convert the scratch coordinates to canvas coordinates by doing this. Oh, forgot to 
put that on the Y. And now, these act like normal scratch coordinates. So, after this, we can start doing some more complicated stuff, which I will cover next tutorial. See you all in the next tutorial.